Hola, hola, hola. Hello. Bienvenidos. Welcome back to the channel, beautiful people. How have you been? How is everyone doing? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear what you've been up to. I have been away for a little bit, just a little bit, and I definitely miss it here. Um, so I'm sorry about that, but I'm hoping to be back. It's just been an incredibly busy time for me lately. Um, but today I'm going to be setting up another spring spread in my flagship creative journal. This is my creative space, my flagship big happy planner, my journal, call it what you will, the Tanya Garcia Bright Travels planner. And I'm already behind again. <laughs> I got too comfortable, too confident in being caught up in my flagship. And before I knew it, things were just flying by. The days were flying by and um, I am behind again. So just a quick little flip through September monthly. We're deep into the fall season. I'm so happy for that. This was my pug spread to celebrate Daisy's gotcha day, my honeybee spread, my first fall spread of the season. And then this is where I currently am right now. Um, it is technically October the, what's, what day is it? It is October the 19th. So I am the last spread in September behind. I did do my October monthly, so I'm happy about that. But I'm also behind on the first week in October and the second week of October. So I'm three spreads behind now and I not too bad, right? It's been worse. So I'm just going to catch up today and set up the spread for the 25th through the 1st. We're going to be deep into fall. This is going to be another fall themed spread. I think it's going to be pretty fall themed all through the fall. <laughs> we shall see. Maybe I'll get tired of it. Um, October, I want October to be spooky spreads, Dia de los Muertos spreads, pumpkin patch spreads. So maybe I'll sneak in a general fall spread in here. Um, and maybe not. We shall see. And then November is going to be um, this first week is going to be Dia de los Muertos, and then maybe another fall spread, two fall spreads, and then, of course, Thanksgiving spread, and then a Christmas or, like, winter spread. So I might do two Thanksgiving spreads, honestly, because I feel like I have too many stickers and ideas for Thanksgiving um, to, to just have it be on one spread. Anyway, that's getting ahead of myself. So let's pull out these pages here. And like I said, it's going to be a fall themed spread today. And I already have an idea of what I want to do. I think I might pull for this piece of scrapbook paper. Or maybe this one. Yeah, I might go with that one actually. A little bit of a warmer toned one. And I'm going with this piece of scrapbook paper because it has all of these cute little fungi, these little mushroom on it. And this is going to be a fall mushroom spread. And I'm definitely going to be pulling for my botanist sticker anthology because it has a section of mushrooms. I have to show this to you. Look at this. Ah, I am definitely going to be pulling for these. I love mushrooms so much. They're so freaking cute. I think we have a couple of other pages as well. So we have this page. I think that might be the only two pages, maybe. I think so, but that's fine. Two pages is more than enough of mushrooms. And I also have this little guy here. This was from, I already forgot the name of this company, but I will link that video where I reviewed this product in the cards. This company actually reached out to me and sent this to me and it is like a little mushroom sticker pack and it's super, super cute. Um, I had a lot of fun with this and I don't use it as much as I should use it. It's adorable, but I'm going to be pulling for a lot of these stickers and like stationary stuff. So let's put that to the side for now and I'll put this to the side. And let's get started. It's going to be a mushroom extravaganza. And I will pull for Mojo Jojo plans, brown boxes, and more because I think I will need that. I might pull for some boxes from Fall Harvest. Not sure exactly if I will. And I might pull for some Homebody Seasons as well. 
we'll leave these two out. I'm almost done with the fall section in here. Okay, first things first. Um, I kind of am envisioning the mushrooms being on the bottom of the page. And I want the scrap paper to be like two little end caps at the top. So I'm thinking of two pieces kind of um, ripped this way and then ripped that way. So let's try it out here. Okay, that was exactly the cut that I wanted it to be. So I'm so glad that turned out all right. And I think it would help if I cut an, a straight edge on this paper before I cut it again. Now this time it would, oh, this was, I almost tore it the wrong way. So now this will be like so, like so, perfect. And then let's lay this down. And I kind of want to actually use some kind of like uh, date stickers to put on top of the scrapbook paper so that I can see the dates um, over the scrapbook paper. Usually I don't really care about that. It's fine. I usually, you know, remember what day is what day, but I'm kind of feeling like I want to have some of the numbers um, out on top of the scrapbook paper this time around. So I will try to locate some date stickers for that right now. So I do have these little guys. Um, I have these yellow ones. I think the yellow ones would look nice. I could also use the blue ones. I could use the blue ones and they wouldn't pop as much or I could use the yellow ones and they would pop more, but they might be like, too too high contrast um let's see oh i do like the blue okay i'll go with the blue i think the blue goes well with the uh with the blue colors in the mushrooms and the leaves so okay let's put that down there monday okay essential dates and numbers for the dates here. Actually, I like these better. I need to use clear stickers. I mean, paper stickers because the clear ones are, are gonna, not going to show up too well on the scrapbook paper. So I'll go with these here. Okay, I'm kind of thinking of having just like a little tiny strip of the scrapbook paper, kind of like a washi strip at the bottom of the pages because I feel like the mushrooms need kind of like a substrate, like some dirt-like thing um, to anchor on. Oh no, this one was a little bit too thin. Eek! Oh, that's fine. Um, and this will kind of imply that they're on dirt or on the ground or even on wood, you know, in their natural state instead of just floating around the ether or so. So let's lay this down. Okay, and then let's start off with a big mushroom sticker. Let's just choose one right now. I really like these chanterelles. I like this morel. Whoo, so many good stickers. My goodness, how do I even choose? I'll go with the chanterelle first. Love it. And I kind of like this mushroom on the piece of wood. I think I would like to put this on the side of the page, kind of sticking out like so, maybe even a little off the page. Perfect. Of course, have to go for this morel. I've never had a morel um, from the wild. I've, I think I've had them like, you know, in restaurants or in, um, I put it over the spine from like canned morels or preserved morels, but I've never found them in the wild and had them. I've always been curious about that. And then I'm going to get this mushroom. I kind of want it to be maybe 
right here next to the morel. I love it. And then this long skinny mushroom. Here's another batch of like shelf looking mushrooms. I think that would look good like right here. Kind of balance the other one out. And I'll cut all the excess off at the end, I think. For now, I'll just leave it like this. And then we have this one, which is another one that kind of is like protruding from the side. So I think I'll go ahead and put that one down here. And I will grab this massive mushroom sticker as well. And this one would look good just like here in the corner. Ooh, I have to use this red mushroom. This is a classic mushroom shape. So I'll put this one right here. And then I do want to use smaller ones to fill in some of these gaps here. So let me grab this one. Ooh, this beautiful blue one. I do love this one. Let's see if I can sneak it in somewhere. Like right here. Maybe like up here. It's gorgeous. Okay, let me try to fill in some of these mushrooms here. How about this one right here? This bolete looking mushroom. I've loved mushrooms ever since I was a little girl. I used to like go to the library and check out books on mushrooms and then I would go try to find mushrooms around me which I grew up in San Diego so San Diego is not very known for its mushrooming. <laughs> so I never really found a lot. I did find some but I was always a little bit disappointed with um, what I found but I was obsessed with mushrooms. I had like a bunch of mushroom like um, par paraphernalia. I had like mushroom t-shirts, mushroom stickers, mushroom like kitchen things. And to this day, I still really love mushrooms. I feel like I don't, you know, appreciate them as much as I did when I was younger. I kind of want to get back into it though. I used to date someone who was super into mushrooms as well. And um, I learned a lot more and I did a lot more with mushrooms, uh, mushrooming when I was with him, but then kind of like after we broke up, I didn't really do as much mushrooming anymore, but I do kind of want to get back into it. Um, I did go mushrooming, um, earlier in the year or maybe it was already last year. I don't remember, but we did go mushrooming. Didn't really find too much, unfortunately. Okay. Now I'm going to use these smaller mushroom stickers to fill in the uh, mushroom like the spaces down here what i really like about these like particular um stickers is that it gives you a bunch of like full boxes like look at that that's so cool let's lay another one down right there oh my gosh i didn't realize that there was more mushroom stickers further on in the book Perfect. Let's grab another one of these morel mushrooms. Okay, let me see if I can sneak this bolete mushroom in here as well. Love it. Another amanita mushroom. Let's see if I can sneak this in here. Maybe if I peel up this morel sticker a little bit. Sneak this amanita mushroom right behind it. Perfect. Okay, I think I'm running out of space already as I do. So I'm going to just cut off all of the excess that I have yet to cut off and then get to putting down some boxes for writing. Okay, I'm thinking of using some of these lighter brown boxes. Maybe I'll mix it up with the amount of lighter brown and darker brown boxes. So let's use this long box right here. And let me scoot it over a little bit, actually. Scoot it over like here, like that. I'm trying to be better about um, not caring about uh, whether my stickers are you know, in line with the lines of the vertical because honestly, I'm not using this planner like it is meant to be used. I mean, that's totally fine. Of course, like this 
planner is supposed to serve you however you want to use it so that's fine but i'm definitely not using it in a typical way so i shouldn't mind um, that i don't follow the lines in the planner okay i do want to use some of these boxes right here maybe some of these colored boxes i love these fall colors how about this one right here like so and then I could even use like one of these on top of it. Same with here. I can put a sticker right there. And then I could even put one on top of it. Let's go back into Mojo Jojo plans for some boxes on this side now. Let's see. I'll put a full box right here. And then another full box. I'll put this one up here. Give me back some writing space. Oops, that's a little crooked. It's okay though. Maybe another full box right here. I could even think that maybe I'll pull up this sticker and then tuck it behind it. I kind of like the idea of it going on top of the box. There we go. I do like that a lot. Okay, I think that's enough for Mojo Jojo plans. And then what I can now do is I can grab some more boxes from here. Let's see. I do really like this box right here. It would kind of cut into this mushroom, but I think that's fine. I do want to add some more of these like flowery boxes throughout the spread because um, that way it kind of balances out. So let me find another one. I can even put this one. I should have put this one here. I could cover it. I could technically do that. Let's see if I can peel this up. Okay, that wasn't bad. So now I can use this one right here. Perfect. And then now I can use this one like that. I'll layer it. And then same with, should I layer this one? Yeah, why not? Let's do it that way. And then maybe I can add another one of these flower boxes right here. Or maybe I should add one like this, the one with the flower on the right side, so that way it balances out this one. I kind of want to add another one over here, maybe like right there, like so. And then maybe another box up here on Sunday with one of these layered on it. And then I like these today today's plan stickers. I might put them like layered on some of these boxes. I'll put important right here, love it. And it would be fun to add some quotes around here like this autumn vibe sticker. I'll put it right there. I like this little sweater with the little um, slippers, so cozy. Uh, maybe I can add this right here. And then stay cozy can be up here. There's something about mushrooms that are just so, so cozy. Let's do another sweater right here. Sweater weather. Could do a little beanie right here. One of these little beanies with a little fur um, ball at the top. Okay, that's enough of um, fall harvest. We'll set that aside for now. But I was looking. I kind of want to add some more small mushrooms here at the bottom to kind of layer things up a bit. So we're going to do that. Okay, that turned into a mushroom explosion, but I should have expected that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and punch out everything that I uh, covered up, and then we'll get to writing. Okay, so now I'm going to get to journaling and writing, and I'll probably do a voiceover of everything that happened this week as I write. And actually, I don't remember anything that happened this week, but thankfully, I have my on-the-go Cafecita Designs Planner where I've written all of the notes that i um taken for this week. So this was the 25th through the 1st. 
and yeah <laughs> i'm so happy because right now it's early i don't want to like work my brain to remember what happened three weeks ago so so happy that i have these notes i'm just going to use these as a reference and we shall start writing so monday was actually a pretty busy day for me i had to drive all over the county i drove up to uc riverside to pick up some samples that we were going to sequence at uc san diego and it took me an hour to drive to riverside and then two hours to drive from riverside to san diego and then another hour to drive back home so i was really in the car all day and i got home had a pretty relaxing evening um, we finished watching the the lord of the rings the return of the king um, me and steven have been watching the extended editions for the last two weeks and we finally finished the return of the king and it was super good. We were watching that while we waited for my brother to come um, arrive at our house. We were actually gonna drive him down to the Tijuana airport, which is another hour drive because my brother was gonna go to Mexico for a family wedding. Unfortunately, I was not able to go this trip around. And so um, I just had to stay home and I dropped off my brother and my mom as they went to Mexico. Tuesday was pretty uneventful. We got home pretty late um, on Monday, and so I kind of slept in a bit. And then I had an interview for a lab manager position at San Diego State University. I'm currently softly on the job market. I'm not seriously looking for a job right now, but I am starting to apply to get a sense of the market and to get experience for interviewing um, now that I have about 11 months left in my contract here at UC Riverside. So that was interesting, but Tuesday was pretty uneventful beyond that. Um, I just went for a mile run, which was nice. And then Wednesday, I had a dentist appointment. This is literally the worst dentist I have ever been to. And I think I'm going to just finish up the last couple of things that I have set to do with this dentist. And then I'm going to switch dentists because it really is not a good experience um, whenever I go. So that's been an unfortunate um, thing that I've been dealing with. And then after my dentist appointment, I went thrifting. I found some cute things at the thrift store, some books. I found the Hamilton CD um, set, which I was super happy about. And I've been blasting the Hamilton soundtrack in my car um, since I got it. Thursday was super uneventful as well. I had a quiet day working from home. I went to the thrift store again. I found this massive bag of jewelry beads that I got for my advisor because she loves beading. Friday, um, I went up to UC Riverside and I had a work session with my good friend Jess. We went to a department picnic at the end of the day, which was really nice. I got home pretty late. And then the weekend was pretty relaxing. I really enjoyed this weekend. It was very quiet. And and me and Steven had no plans except to hang out with each other and spend time with each other. We went hiking. We went out to get dim sum for our lunch um, after our hike, which is super nice. And then we did some shopping for like holiday stuff. Um, we needed to pick up some things for like the fall decorations for our house. And then we settled into home and I decorated the entire house. I decluttered a lot of spaces in my house and I just decorated for fall. And it turned out so beautiful. I was very happy with it. And that was my weekend. Oops, I was out of frame this entire time, as always. So there is the finished spread. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I love me a good mushroom spread. Um, I think it's so cute. It's a little busy, but I mean, that's just how I do. So let's pop this back into the rings and as always i think it looks so much better when there is a pen on the page so this is the final mushroom themed spread and it's super super cute very fall and now um we are officially in october so i need to catch up with the first two weeks in october and then we'll be good to go i also need to figure out how i want to set up this currently page here i have been using it as a photo dump um maybe i'll just continue to use it like that not sure exactly we'll see my last currently page looks like this these are all my favorite photos that i took in september and then same with august 
Okay, everyone, thank you so much for stopping by and saying hi and checking out this video. I really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts about all things fungi. And with that, I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll see you later. Adios.